Colon cancer is a major killer in the United States. It's the second most common cause of cancer-related death in the country. Much of the research has focused on early diagnosis with less focusing on prevention. This isn't lung cancer with an obviously modifiable risk factor. But several researchers have suggested that diet may play a role. Enter this week's study by Michael Orlich and colleagues from Loma Linda University. It appears in JAMA Internal Medicine. They took data from the Adventist Health Study. This is what it sounds like, a study of Seventh-day Adventists, about 100,000 actually. Between 2002 and 2007, questionnaires were administered at Adventist churches all across the country, asking a variety of health-related questions and taking a detailed dietary history. The authors then linked these questionnaires to state-level cancer registries to figure out which of the parishioners went on to develop colorectal cancer. Now, right off the bat, the rate was significantly lower than the general population. These were clean living folks, after all. The authors divided the dietary questionnaires into two broad dietary patterns, vegetarian and non-vegetarian. But I should note that you could be a vegetarian if you were a pescatarian, a fish eater, or even if you ate other meats as long as it was less than once a month. By their reckoning, about 50% of the cohort were vegetarians. As you might expect, the vegetarians were a healthier bunch. They drank less, they smoked less cigarettes, they had a lower BMI, and a lower rate of colorectal cancer. After about seven years of follow-up, there were 238 cases of colorectal cancer in the vegetarian group compared to 252 cases in the non-vegetarian group. This is a very small but statistically significant difference. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out at least one statistical quirk in the study. The authors did not specify how they dealt with death in their models. And this is really important because a behavior that increases the risk of death may appear to decrease the risk of colon cancer if you fail to account for that. But even giving them a pass on that, I want to point out how incredibly small the overall risks were. By my calculation, you would need to convert 5,300 people to a vegetarian diet to prevent a single case of colon cancer per year. Maybe more interestingly, you would only need to convert 3,000 people to Seventh-day Adventism to get the same benefit. So at least you have some options. For MedPage Today, I'm Perry Wilson.